Hey everybody, welcome to another awesome Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and we're going to keep on going over the preferences, and um, might as well start now. We're going to go over uh, cursor preferences first. So let's go to Edit, Preferences, and Cursors. Now we've got our different cursor options here, obviously, and there's not too much, so we should like uh, blast through this. Now th these uh, cursors here are for painting and um, then you just got some other cursors and pretty much they're for like, I don't know, they're, they're pretty much the other ones. So you got the standard here over on the right for other cursors, which is, um, they just look like they're uh, icons over here. And if you hit precise, you won't see the icon, it'll be a crosshair. So um, that's what you can use instead if you would like and then over here um, we have the painting cursors um, they're gonna either show like brush tips or you can show them as their toolbox icons if you want so standard is gonna be the toolbox icons precise over here is going to be the crosshairs again normal brush tip is going to be this um, the shape of your uh, brush tip so this one would be a a circle or if it was a square it would be a square so whatever you select as the brush tip full size um, it, it shows the like the full size of it including the feathered edges and then you got show crosshair if you would like and then show only crosshair so um, those should be pretty self-explanatory then you got your uh, brush preview here where you can choose a color for the preview if you would like. Um, anything is fine, really. That, that shouldn't really matter too much. So let's head over to the transparency and gamut sections. Now, I'm, honestly, I wouldn't really mess with anything in here, but I'll go over it a little bit with you. So this section is going to control how... Um, Photoshop shows the uh, transparent areas of the document. So this would be like the uh, background or anything. Yeah, basically it's going to be the background um, when everything's transparent. So let me X out of this real quick and this is what it's going to be. So nothing is selected or nothing is showing right now. So it's showing the background. Let me go back into the preferences here. And we can change how we want it to look. Do we want it to be large squares? Do we want dark? So um, I actually prefer light and I've never seen anybody change it to anything else. Um, so anything here is it's up to you. And then you got your uh, gamut warning here and uh, that just means when um, one of your values when you're using the uh, CMYK color sp space when it goes over or out of the color space range, it's going to t turn into this color. So change that to what you want. Um, if you're using this color, then I, I suggest that you change it. But I mean, this isn't used. This color's not used a whole lot, so that's why they set it as a default. So um, just use that for your transparency. This one was really quick. That's pretty cool. Got 30 minutes until they do the next sale on uh, Steam. It's 12, 12 29 right now. So I'm really looking forward to see what they have on there, actually. It's uh, 6 23, so we're right in the middle of it. It's pretty cool. Already got a few games. Um, let's see. We can come down here to uh, Units and Rulers. That'll be our next one. So when we use our rulers, which are these things up here, right now the rulers are in inches and the type is points. So I can um, mess with these. So we got centimeters, pixels. So, I mean, it's helpful to change this depending on how you like set up your um, scene. So if you're working on something that should be on a TV, or monitor, maybe using pixels would help. But um, 
most of the time I just keep it on inches I don't really use like measurements on it too much but every once in a while I do need to measure out something so I will like create a marker and then create a marker and make sure that they're that far that far away so hopefully that makes sense so um, pretty much we got our column sizes here and these column sizes are used for things like that have columns in them such as like a flyer or like a newspaper or magazine or something like that so this is um, how the column sizes are determined when it like makes them so you can change those if you would want and then you got your different um, basically units of measurement that you can use um, here's our new document presets um, pretty easy oh um, I guess I better explain what gutter is um, gutter hold on a sec oh it's the uh, I had to think of it um, it's the uh, space in between columns so that's what the gutter is and then we can come down here um, new document preset resolutions um, so th this is like the uh, print resolution which is like your DPI there and then you got your screen resolution which is um, for like web and stuff like that so keep these at what they are um, I would I, that's what I would say for now so you got your print resolution and then your web and TV resolution here that those are the main two ones that you'll use and then we got our point pika size um, so this does the like the type tool so just leave it on the uh, postscript that way you don't have to deal with the uh, point two seven that's a really really want to get into uh, the traditional way there so I guess we'll end it there um, seven minutes in and um, let's see yep that's all I yeah that's all I want to talk about in this tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial hopefully yeah it looks like we should finish up in the uh, next tutorial so we'll see you guys in that one see you guys later